Good morning, friends. How are you today? I hope everyone is doing well. Happy New Year. Um, I probably said it in some of my other videos. Today is January. To January. Today's the third already. Already. I can't believe it. And what we're working on today is going to involve quite a few little things. I've got these little flowers here. Um, I have a couple of these trays. Um, they, they are the garden trays, uh, the garden dishes, and they are the bigger size. I also have two bags of the blue stones. This is the label, in case you're wondering which ones I've got. Um, they are the glass stones. And I have the green um, floral moss. I have a bag of that. And you've seen in one of my videos where I picked up two of these uh, little succulents. They're the fake ones. I want the petals off these. That's why I got them. And yes, I'm going to go ahead and use this big blue. Well, it's not really big. It's only about maybe six inches tall or so. This glass. It is going to be necessary. And I have these two frogs that I got. I absolutely love them. They are so cute, guys. And yep, in case you haven't figured it out, we are going to make a frog pond. There is uh, the blue sand. I'm not sure if I'm going to need it, but I do want to fill in any spots that may need to be filled in. And I have these garden um, plant labels. So, and of course, I'm going to be using Waverly Chalk Paints in ink. This brand new one I've got in Peacock and white. And I'm also going to be using Mod Podge. Along with that, with my glue, of course, let me get my candy out of the way. My E6000 along with um, just my hot glue. I use E6000, especially when I'm gluing glass and that kind of thing, because I want a permanent hold, something that down the line I'm not going to pick something up and it's not going to fall off. Um, when you're using heavier objects and stuff like that, you don't want them to fall apart. And if you use E6000 and also hot glue, you get that quick hold, plus you get the permanent lasting hold. So. Um, I did go and buy me a package of E6000. I like the little sticks. They're easier to handle. And did you know if you put Vaseline around this, your lid will not um, get glued fast? That was a tip. I think it was Anna Lee. Or, um, oh, there was another lady I was watching that said that. Really good tips. And of course, I have my tool caddy here with all my hot glue, my cutters, my um, all that, my my paint brushes, etc. So I'm going to stop talking. So I want you to uh, pull up a chair and come along with me. Let's get crafting. Okay, so the very first thing I did was I gave both of these two coats only on the inside of the Waverly Chalk Paint in Peacock. I love this color. It's a nice deep, it looks like water, really pretty color. And I did not do the outside of these bowls. Later on you'll see that I ended up only using one. Uh, my first attempt at this, um, it turned out to be a total train wreck and I could not get the glass beads back off and I could not get the grass back off. And like I said, I did a second coat after the first coat dried just so you could not see from the outside. You could not see through, which was really good. I love how it looks from the outside and the inside. I'm showing you here the first attempt that I made. Um, just to kind of show you how it went along. These beads glued down so easy. You do want to scrape the paint away from where you're going to glue down 
the bigger items so that the glue will stick. Gluing on this grass was the biggest mistake. It looked absolutely horrible, guys. Don't ever do it. That moss looking stuff, it, it just was bad. You'll see here in this clip after I took the stuff off. Just how horrible this looked. I had to show you guys. It was a train wreck. And I did get the glass back off. And I did get the frog back off. And I reused them. Um, and just made it work with one tray. And it turned out really, really cute. Um, I did have a problem getting the frog to stick to the top part of the glass. But you'll see in the end how it turned out. You can see here I scraped away where the uh, glue will be sticking to the bowl. Here you'll see um, that I decided to go ahead and make the spot for the glass to glue down a little bit wider to give more of surface for the E6000 to stick fast. And then I added a piece of foam board, glued that down, and then I glued the frog to the foam board. And the frog would not glue fast to that glass no matter how I did it. I don't know if it was the, the frog or if it was the glass, but the two would not glue together. So I did go through and cover the foam board up while I was doing the grass and the, the lily pads and all that. It turned out really cute. You couldn't really tell that there was foam board there. Um, I like how it looked with the frog up on top. It just, um, after the disaster with the first tray, this turned out just incredibly cute. I am so glad that kind of the first tray turned out to be a disaster because this was much better. And then I started adding the little glass beads, gluing them down, and I glued them wherever it would look like there should have been water. And I used the entire bag of glass beads, plus the, I think there was like three left out of the other bag, just to use them up. And um, it just looked so cute. There it is with all the beads on there. It really does look like water down in there. It's just so cute. Then after this, and they stuck really well. After all this was done and I made sure everything was stuck good, I grabbed the um, stem that I had earlier and I cut off those in pieces so that the top part looked like grass, like stems of grass, and I cut off the little yellow things. And I just glued them all the way around, as you can see here, all the way around the inside of the um the bowl so it looks like it was um grass along the edge of the pond and then every now and then i would add a yellow piece of grass and it just turned out really cute it took quite a bit um two stems almost two full stems of the yellow or the um green part and it didn't take as much yellow I could have added more yellow if I wanted to but I didn't want to overdo it but this turned out really cute and then you'll notice that I took um, also some of the green leaves and I put them around the um, edge of the frog I lost that footage um, on the top frog I lost that piece of footage, but I did that to help cover the foam board. And this is just so pretty. And here you see I'm putting in the yellow. Guys, this, this is, it took me quite a while to do this because of the disaster for the first one. But I'm glad I did it with just one bowl because I don't think the two trays would have turned out as pretty. So there's how it looks while I'm working at it. And then when I got it all together around the bottom, it is just so cute. 
So I started with the succulent. I cut all of the little pieces off and I did turn around when I was ready to use them. I trimmed them down the way I needed to make the shapes I wanted. Working with these were really fun. They're kind of a nice rubber, so they're, they're just nice to work with. I glue them into kind of the shape I want for the lily pads. It takes a little bit for the glue to harden with these, so be patient. But they do glue together really, really well. Um, and I do make a couple of lily pads for my pond. And um, once I'm sure that they're held together so they're dry, I go ahead and I hot glue them into the pond. And they turned out so well, guys. I love these. They just look like little lily pads. If I ever come across some flowers to put in the center, I'll add some flowers later, but I didn't have any. And yeah, the lily pads just set this off really good. I did add some embellishments at the end that I did not find the video of that. Um, I don't know what happened to it. I added some of the, um, the little pieces here underneath this frog. Um, to make it look like he's sitting on a big lily pad up there on top. And it turned out so cute. I tried so many different ways to make it look like he was blowing away like a butterfly or something like that. This did not work out. So I went with adding the butterflies down at the bottom, the 3D, and a couple of little um, ladybugs. I love how this turned out. Um, it just was so pretty. And you can see here that I had added some of the grass along the bottom to hide the edges of the foam board. Guys, I love how he turned out. I think frogs are so cute. Um, and this little frog pond turned out cute. I did not use the garden signs because no matter how I put them in there, they just didn't look right. So I left them out. And that's kind of how it goes. Sometimes things don't work out the way you want them. So here it is, guys. All done, sitting here, looking so cute. I love the little butterflies, the one sitting on his knee, the little ladybugs. I love how that grass looks. I am so glad that I did this instead of using the two trays and all the, the moss. That moss was just horrible to work with. This turned out so cute, guys. I am so glad I went with this. Anyways, I just want to tell you guys thank you so much. I am so glad that you're here on my channel. Um, and yeah, just um, thank you for watching the videos and commenting. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye, guys.